All right, that's enough of an intro. <laughs> Hello, y'all. It is I, Blue Tie Dye Seven Seven Seven, and I am ready to play some fucking Pokemon again. But first, I will read off my chat rules so we can quickly get into it. <sighs> Rule number one: No bigotry. Here and there will be no hateful speech towards any race, sexuality, class, or gender. Also, address someone by their username, not any pronoun in particular. This is to prevent any unneeded clarification. This can spam the chat. Number two, do not give any in-game help unless previously asked. Help will we help will be requested in the form of an exasperated <sighs> Okay, fuck it. How do I do this? Or something of that nature. Number two. Keep <laughs> number three. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Keep bickering down to a minimum. Number four, with all this in mind, don't be afraid to ask questions about things in the realm of stream quality and such. So with all that in mind, we are going to we're going to officially start the stream. And for a little bit of an intro while I get the game started up, uh I got to the cave before that the, the cave that you have the cross you know before uh you, you get to azalea town so and i don't know what it is about this rom or yes i did i did get that zubat i'm just gonna There you are. And it saved correctly. Yes, it did. Yep. Uh, meet Echo, Viking Saiyan. She's got a modest nature. I'm not, I forget. Red is good. So she has a high special attack and a low, uh, you know, attack status. So I met her when she was a little two in the cave before you get to uh Violet Town or Violet City, I forget which one it is. But yeah, uh I'm very attached to her. And I think that um that puppy junior is going to evolve soon. But I'm not completely sure. And and we got that um that Togepi egg. I won't be using them. I will simply just hatch them just to get the Everstone. And let's start off the stream. Start off the stream with battling this fire blower. Zubat Supersonic keeps confusing my Pokemon. I'm seriously upset about that. Maybe I can outfit her with some moves that'll, you know, because the whole thing about Pokemon, like, sure, like, you may not, you know, get the moves or, like, the natures that you want for the Pokemon, but, like, you can still make that specific Pokemon viable. 
that just means I have to really think about what moves to give her. It just means that the Curl Bat that I'm going to use is just going to use more special attacks than the physical. Have to look up Seraphy. Seraphy. Zubat. Because I feel like she was supposed to learn Wing Attack by, by now. And I, and I think I'm going to skip over it. Okay. It's 17. It's 17 when she learns. Uh, uh, wing Attack. And. Okay. And then she learns Confuse Ray at level 21. That's pretty good. It's a lot different. Like, it's a lot better than fucking uh, Supersonic. Yeah. Competitive Pokemon playing is kind of beyond me. I never really want to get into all that. Because, when I really think about it, ultimately, they're just using the same Pokemon as everybody else. Like, if you truly just want to win, you'll use like a Garchomp or who, like depending on which game, like you'll use a Garchomp or something, and you kind of just carry with that, or like a whole team of Garchomp. Or something. So, something stupid like that. in search of Pokemon. Are you looking for Pokemon too? Then you're my collecting rival. Larry. Go Slowpoke! I played on Let's Go Eevee, I think, uh, like a month after it came out, and I was so just engrossed in how the game looked, 
but I was kind of turned off at how it was always daytime. Like, no matter where I went, it was always just blistering sunlight. I'm very hopeful when it comes to, like, um... Uh, the remake for Diamond and Pearl, they'll, like, actually implement, you know, uh, a day and night cycle. Because it was very... Very integral to how the game just functioned. It, you know, in its original. Really? I mean, yeah, you're, yeah, that's fair. You're like a, you lost a third of your health. But yeah, the Let's Go games are a really good, um, uh, what's it called? Remake. Yeah. Oh, I guess we're not close enough. Yeah, that's right, because <laughs> now that I remember correctly, uh, Gen 1 games had, like, like, there were no reason to just have a day-night cycle at all. came through the cave, but I still have plenty of energy left. Doesn't sound like it. Geodude doesn't have any rock type moves at this level, so we should be fine. Here when I defeated Faulkner, Viking. I'm not sure if you left or, or if you were still watching. I got the badge. Ooh, that would have been cool. That that would have been really cool, actually. But, uh, they just... N Nintendo, like many companies, don't try to do anything different. They just want to make money. Like the physical cartridge? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I had Puppy Jr. like be two levels over his strongest Pokemon, and I didn't know. And I was like, so awkward. I was like really confused. I was like, we were talking about like a possible port, and I was like, really? Like, the original DS game? <laughs> and that's pretty cool that, that you have one. It's just like they're so expensive now to, to try to get like Amazon or some places. 
It's like seventy dollars. Just to try to get an old game. On FB, what's that? Oh, Facebook. I really took for granted, uh, what's it called, GameFly, because the only the only time I ever played, uh. Heart gold was with like, like was through that um, renting system, and like the thing is, you could only like rent that game. You couldn't buy it because it was so popular at the time. But I didn't think to ask my parents uh, to buy it for me when it was you know still viable to get. I've never really used Facebook like that, so this is pretty, like, like this is new knowledge for me. some plot. Who are you? You don't know us. We are Team Rocket. What? We broke up a while ago. Give me a break. We have not broken up. Actually, we did once. But we have come back to pursue Giovanni's ambition. Enough talking. Shut up and just beat it. Nothing is going on. It's unsafe to go in there. So I'm standing guard to make sure people don't want her. Am I not a good Samaritan? Hmm. Hello, old man. The Slowpoke have disappeared from town. I heard their tails are being sold somewhere. Hmm, that's sus. Did you come and get Kurt to make some Pokeballs? A lot of people just do that. We have this tough guy called Kurt in this town. He should be able to take care of it. Cat through Azalea and you'll be in Alex Forest. Hi, Alex. There's skinny trees making it impossible to get through. The Charcoal's men. Charcoal Man's Pokemon can cut down trees. Ooh. Uh-oh, but we'll be blocked off? No, we won't. I 
think we can get a Paris here. I did not heal my Pokemon. And I'm pretty sure... Yep, we're out of... First time we got poisoned. Yep, I know. You're okay, buddy. It's okay. Oh wait, I do have an antidote. What are, what's your health? Like? Okay, we, we, we don't walk here. Okay. Um, I missed this whole like poison thing, like fucking up the screen to, to tell you that your Pokemon is hurting. And I kind of hate how they just took it out of the games recently. I, I think they took it out uh, in Pokemon Black and White. They just kind of left it at that. Because it was like some, like, some feeling, like some visual showing that you are being hurt right now. Your Pokemon are hurting. Uh, for real? That just takes up the whole danger of it all. And it's like, yeah, I can heal my Pokemon after the fact, but, like, if I can't, then, well... Oh, there's no... I think that it only happens after we take care of the fucking Slowpoke problem. That's really stupid, honestly. Like, Poison was one of the few things that, like, actually affected you as a trainer. And then you just took away the danger. And it was kind of weird how poison... Like, poison and burn function the same exact way. Like, they hurt the Pokemon over a period of time. So it's like... Yeah. Like, uh, Pokemon X and Y. Now, that was the game that kind of, like, had me fall in love with Pokemon all over again. But it is a lot easier than the, than the previous gens. The Slowpoke are gone. Were they taken away by fat people? Huh? Who are you? Blue, eh? You want me to make some balls? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right, because it's like a physical thing, and it's like a physical burn. But, like, it hurts to move your body. Blue, eh? You want me to make some balls? Sorry. Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Ah, don't worry. I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have to span it three years ago. Anyway, they're all at the well. Cutting off Slowpoke's tail. For sale. So I'm gonna go give them a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke. Old Coder's on his way. 
That's a fast old man. Uh, no. I don't want to save. That was weird. <laughs> My god. Yeah. And personally, I'm not against the whole experience share working on the whole team because in and of itself how do you transfer over experience points to begin with like within the meta like it's always interpreted as here's this weird helmet that just makes you stronger for no reason other than it does <laughs> so really like why can't it work on the other pokemon Sucks that this girl doesn't have any parents. Hmm. Ah, uh, but don't you understand? It's the... It, it's the Gala region. Everything is so... It's... Okay. Outside of the bit. The Gala region just just to play in is so weird like certain pokemon aren't allowed there there's this whole mechanic that just is exclusive there like it's not like a z crystal or a megastone that are like independent of where you know they work they just simply work and that's it well actually no i think megastones just work on their own but it's like z crystals use z power which is also exclusive to the Alola region, so <laughs> it's really dumb. It, it makes no sense to me. Yeah, it was really easy. All right, time to go help Kurt. Let's get some stuff first. How much money do I have? I've yet to actually spend anything, I think. Look at that go. That's the badge. I thought I signed... Ah. Uh, <laughs> I, I forgot. I didn't sign this. At least the timeline that we're in. Right? Like, now I caught Yamper because, ooh, here's the cute little pupper. He's a corgi that's so cute and sweet. And then, like, the way he just destroyed any opponent that I was against. Like, like it was insane to me, like, like how easily I won a match just because I had Bolton. Because he... He also levels up very quickly, like that whole Pokemon species. Like he would be the head, like like my Bolton would be like a head of all my Pokemon by like two levels. It was weird. Honestly, that makes sense because electric type Pokemon don't have any weaknesses besides ground, so you could just one shot a whole bunch of Pokemon with electric type moves. Well, maybe except ground. I mean, not ground, but a uh, dragon type. That's only like, you know, the final gym. I'm gonna wait until we get some full heals. I am gonna buy an escape rope. Here we go.
Sword and Shield, like from my perspective, is like it is simply the beginning of what could be when it comes to an open world, an open world uh, Pokemon game. And it's not perfect simply because it was rushed. Yeah. Simply because, like, it literally is just made of metal. I think we can just ignore the old man and just move on. Let's do that. I don't know why I did that. Like, I've always been so pointing of being the nice character. <laughs> I was standing guard up top when some old coot yelled at me. He started he startled me so much that I fell down here. I would have got my anger and take it out on you. I'm definitely in the minority in saying I don't want a more Pokemon. Oh. So do you like just this style? of Pokemon, like, the 16-bit sort of thing. I, now, I do wish that, that they would do both, still. Like, both, uh... Both, like, the, like, the big, like, more realistic 3D models and just this sort of sprite thing going on here in the previous gens. And only using like 3D as uh, like ornamentation. Because there was like a lot of 3D assets being used in Pokemon Black. Like with the uh, like that big castle at the end of the game, or the bridge, or the cars, or whatever, like the buildings themselves in uh, Castalia City. I just wish that they would stop acting as if the Kanto region is the only reason that can, like, like, I just hate how they just keep treating Kanto as the Pokemon region. Like, you have six others, like seven other modes. Now, I'm all for that, it's just... Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna skip it too because it just doesn't seem very interesting. Like, it's, in it's, like, it's interesting the point of like e exploration, but like when it comes to like, the actual story and the gameplay, I don't see any point in doing it. Like, it's cool that we're, like, gonna be a part of, like, building up the Sinnoh region, but we kind of already know where it's gonna go, like, like, where it's heading. And I feel like the only point in entertainment is, like, oh, oh, haha, ha, like, that's how that happened, kind of thing. What the hell? But I am excited for Pokemon uh, Shining Diamond and Luminous Pearl. I forget the name specifically. And I am going to, with a lot of hope, I hope that I'll get like a physical cartridge and not, you know, uh, 
buying it online. Like just the application on my Switch because my Switch is so full of other games. And it would be nice to have just the physical cartridge. Yes, you do want to learn wing attack. Um, what? Forget Leech Life. Anyway, I just took a moment to like pause there, to like really like look at that platform. Like why would they have me walk all the way around? I feel as though the downside of having a cartridge that if it breaks, then really I'm, I'm like, fucked. Like, sure, I can always try to, like, replace it, but there's, like, a certain extent on that. And the downside of, like, downloading the, the game to my console of, of whatever I'm playing, like, they could simply just say, oh, haha, you're not allowed to have that anymore, and just fucking take it away from me whenever they feel like it. Because it's their console, I can do what the fuck they want. Like, like the way they um, took away certain people's copies of that Mario uh, anniversary pack game. And it just made me really op open up my eyes to that possibility. Oh shit. This isn't really mine. Yeah. Well, that's another thing. Uh, older stuff tend to last longer. It's just, you know, with newer games coming out. Cartridges tend to last more than discs. I, I will say that. Right. Good and look after the house with Grandpa and Slowpoke. Love, Dad. Now, with the Slowpoke, um, I can't tell if they're like reptilian or they're mammals, and I'm not sure if their tails even do grow back. Huh. What do we have here? I am often labeled as the scariest and cruelest guy in Team Rocket. <laughs> I strongly urge you not to interfere with our business. A level 8 Zubat. I don't know why, but I, I just think he should be on par with the gym leader. Yeah. Because, yeah, um, I think, I think Slowpoke's are very soft to pose. But it's just that tail is like throwing me off. Yeah, 
Yeah, but back on fucking Team Rocket and their admins, like, or executives. Why are they so weak? Like, they are a underground crime syndicate. They should have a stronger people, you know, just fighting for them. Wow. Yeah, so they're pretty much fucked. They have no more tails. Cause I don't really know a mammal that can just grow their appendages back, but then again, they're fucking Pokemon, so they can just do whatever. Hell yeah. Level 18, Puppy Jr. Grr, for a kid to be this good, I didn't see it coming. Yeah, do it, baby, do it. Could you imagine if I just stopped the evolution? Hell fucking yeah. Look at him. My little boy's growing up. He's not very on center with the circle. Come on, baby. Just. Yeah. Good enough. Look at him. He's so sweet. <gasps> it's so cute. I've never actually had a crocodile. So I've, I've never actually seen the sprite before. Oh god, I'm sorry, hold on, uh, let me fix that. Hold on, uh, moderation. Where is it? Because that is getting really dumb. I have no idea how to fix that because the auto mod is off, so you should be able to do whatever you want. Like that's so weird, hold on. Like I'm I'm looking for a way to Nightbot. <laughs> oh man. Uh, hold on. Nightbot. Spam. God, it's like a whole thing. I will figure it out on break. I will keep the stream going. <laughs> Team, Team Rocket was indeed broken up three years ago, but we continued our activities underground. A small obstacle like you won't be much of a problem for our mission. I advise you to be very afraid of what is to come. How you doing, old man? Way to go, Blue. Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better, too. Thank you for seeing about me. Oh, wait. You didn't. Let's get out of here. Hi, Blue. You held yourself like a real hero. 
As I mentioned before, Team Rocket was disbanded by a boy called Red three years ago. Now that they have come back, I have a bad feeling about it. In any case, it would please me greatly to make Pokeballs for a trainer like you. This is all I have now, but take it. Fastball. Cool. You have apple corns for me? Fine. I'll turn them into Pokeballs. I wish I had a blue one. I forget which ones make what, but I think pink makes a love ball. I, I wonder if he can make a quick ball, but I'm not sure. Let me look up a, an article. Apricorns. Soul Silver. Okay. Okay, a blue Capricorn makes a lure ball. Damn, all these all these balls suck. Pokemon like you. Now, a friend ball would be very helpful. I could catch a ditto. That's white. I'll give you my... Grandpa's number. So I have a plan. I will figure out a place where I can like catch Ditto and then catch a Ditto with a friend ball and then breed it with the EV that I can get. That way it'll be like way easier to, you know, hatch a EV with a with a friend ball. Make the friendship go up even higher. Ditto in this game, hopefully it won't be too far off. I think I can find a Ditto in uh, the route above Goldenrod City. That's just a guess. 35 and 47, that's where I can find one. Okay, moving on. Look at my boy, he's so big now, he's so big. Now, part of the mechanic uh, from Pokemon X and Y, I did love how you could like actually play with your Pokemon. I just wish they would like, Continue that with uh, with the with, with the walking mechanic. Thank you for the heels. Uh, let's open up the Poke Gear. Just double check. That's 34. That's Goldenrod. 35. Yeah. That's the root. Moving on. Ooh, but we can get another Pokemon here in Azalea Town. I would just have to 
go and do that whole Boy, leave me alone. <laughs> Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Ha! <laughs> Quit lying. Are you serious? Dead ass? Then let's see how good you are. Alright. You really should not take Echo. Bite his ass. <gasps> oh no! We we can't leave. <laughs> oh no! I do love Bailey's design. I just wish they were more viable to use in the battle. Oh shit. I should have used wing attack. I don't know why I just instinctively used bite. Shit. It's got a lot of defense though. I don't know why. I think it's also going to throw a flag at the line. That should that should have been way more. Come on, hit yourself, hit yourself. There you go. They can only use synthesis five times. This is the second, so there's three left. That's right. Like, that's whole, like, HP and defense. Like, that's Bailey's whole thing. Like, that's the entire thing for, like, a lot of grass types. They have a lot of. Like, they're very chunky. Oh my god. I have to keep Echo alive because I don't think... Yeah... I really don't think that Puppy Jr. can handle himself against his Bailey. Try it again. There you go. All I can do right now is spam wing attack. It should have one more synthesis left, I think. I want to attack again, but we have to heal Echo. Oh shit, wait, it, it's got overgrowth, that, that, that race was only going to get fucking more destructive as we go on, okay, they, he chose to waste his move, and he's here, oh, he didn't use the fucking potion?
That was kind of a waste, I'm not gonna lie. He should have put he should have fucking healed. Switch out. She did very well again against that. Close first too. That's why I didn't do that well. The black was still holding. <laughs> Useless Pokemon. Listen, you. Well, because your Pokemon are stronger than mine. I hate the weak. Pokemon. Trainers. It doesn't matter who or what. I hate to see them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket, too. They think they are big and tough as long as they are in a group. But get them alone, and they're weak. I hate them all. You, stay out of my way. You will be an exception. Get in my way. You say that a lot. Thank you, Echo. Do you sense a future friend here? Okay. Time to do a puzzle that kind of stumped me when I was a kid. Look at him go. That he, that he has. The source is over here. I should get out my other Pokemon. There's a dude in the forest, I think, that can teach a Pokemon uh, headbutt, and that's what we, we will be using. Let's get a new friend. is gonna be angry. The farfetch that cut trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Can you catch them for me? Farfetch have sensitive ears. If you step on a branch, they'll face towards you. That's your chance. Sneak up from behind and catch them. Do you think you can do that? Sure. Okay, now this is the only place where I would use a repel, but I don't have a lot of them, so I just have to fucking, fucking deal. I'm sorry, but like, can't you? Why aren't these farfetched in Pokeballs? Wow, you found a farfetched. Thank you. But there is one more missing. If you step on a branch, it will face that way. Remember? That's your chance to catch it. Sneak up on it slowly from behind. I swear. Keep your distance, so, uh, he's water gun. Ooh. 
a thingy. Spoilers, I can figure this out. to get this one out of the Wait, does Kakuna have poison point? I forget. Fading to black, I really appreciate that. Ah, my far and fetched. You found them for us, kid? <laughs> Without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know. Here, take this. You have to have the gym uh, from Zalia to use it, so we won't be able to get our friend just yet. I may sound a little weird for saying this. But I wish that bug types were just a little bit more strong, you know? Because I feel like the worst parts of, you know, being a human being is dealing with all of what nature has to offer to us. Like, bugs are some of the hardest things to deal with in real life. But because they're like, eh, like bugs can get crushed by rocks and fucking birds eat them and they're susceptible to fire, as if no other creature on Earth is like that. It's like, I, I personally think they should be like more formidable, seeing as how, you know, they're such a menace for us. I'm sorry, I forgot to thank you. This is charcoal that I made. Fire type moves will become more powerful than when Pokemon holds that. And I love that, like, like a fucking um Joltik and Galvantula. Those two are like some of my favorite Pokemon. That whole line, all two of them. said that it's kind of sad how Scyther didn't get a Mega Evolution when I remember, oh wait, Scyzor got a Mega Evolution. Yeah. I 
I kind of want to get my steps in so we can like hatch this egg. a bug type Pokemon. Bugsy's young, but he's a master of bug type Pokemon. It's going to be tough without my advice. Let's see. Bug type Pokemon don't like fire. Fire time moves are super effective too. I wish this game was more about technique than it was about just picking the right move. Get a hair across within Azalea Town. Like, like that's what I plan to do. I'm just like, bruh, like, <laughs> get it together. Like, he has fucking Kakuna and like, okay, he has a Beedrill and a Scyther and a Kakuna for some reason. Like, yeah, Scyther's good, but like, I just feel as though you should have just, you know, did the thing. Like, do the right thing and fucking try to win. I went on the wrong conveyor belt for the second time. Okay, this is the one. Yes, you are. All this way, crossing the web like a bug Pokemon. Allow me to teach you the charms of bug Pokemon. God, would you like pick another word? So weird, just to read. I kind of have to use water type of his water gun because uh, bite won't be much. On the So careful. I wish they would like kind of tell you the route beforehand. Bug Pokemon evolve young, so they get stronger that much faster. I just wish they would just... Now what I want from just the whole, like, what Game Freak... At least like, like, what I want from them. I want them to completely start fresh, where they just completely rework how the type matchups, you know, function. Like, of course, water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water, but like, I want there to not be an arguably 
uh, superior uh, fucking titan. I want everyone to just, you know, like, I want any, like, any team to have a fair chance of winning. And of course, you can do that if you, you know, try hard. You would have to, like, over-level your Pokemon just to win. Like that one YouTuber. I forget their name, but he, uh, he does this thing where, like, he just, uh, he picks a Pokemon and then plays a whole entire run with that Pokemon as his battling partner. Because it sometimes, like, gets me out how a lot of the characters in this game just use, like, one or two Pokemon. And, they, and then they get so confused as to why they lose. Just finish it. Thanks. Spread some baby. First double battle, nice. If you insist, we'll be your opponents. battle the other kid. So I think we have to switch this one first. There we go. Slaved all the slowpoke? Woo, you're mighty. My grown up Pokemon are pretty tough too. Pokemon. We don't 
really need to go back and heal because we basically have <laughs> we got all of our fucking wing attacks and puppy really shouldn't even really be in the fight but he should be fine but I will save though just in case something happens tend to have better stats than a lot of Pokemon like in game, but I don't really like how all over the place, you know, Echo stats are. But, you know, they're relatively like in the 20s while her speed's like the highest. So she should be fine. lose when it comes to bug type Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority of bug type Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. <laughs> Good luck. You'll need it. Go! Scyther! He's sending out his fucking Scyther. <sighs> oh my god, why? Why? And it's faster than us. Shit. He's sending out his fucking Scyther first. Yeah! <laughs> Wait! Wait! What the fuck was that? I was shit. Is he really gonna one-shot her? How did you fucking get a crit the moment you came out? Like your second turn. Golly. I've never seen that happen before. I really haven't. I've never seen him just throw out his Scyther in his first turn, in his first go. This thing should not be able to do anything. Shit, shit, don't. We're gonna heal her. I'm just kind of at a loss for that. Maybe it's because Echo was such a high level that he decided to just straight up just try to get her out. But that was really weird. Like that honestly scared me. He doesn't even have a Beedrill on his team. He's lower. Are you serious? One of his like underlings had a fucking Beedrill, but he doesn't. I thought he did. That is so disrespectful. The hell they are. A 
last ditch effort. To do what? It's over. Damn, Echo, you really... <sighs> that scared me, honestly, I won't lie. <gasps> the Hive Bash. Even though that was really stupid, we got the badge. Look at it. Look at it sparkle. Look at it. We have two badges now. Do you know the benefits of the Hive Badge? If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you, even traded ones. Pokemon that no cut will be able to use it outside of battle too. Here, I also want you to have this. Is this Fury Cutter? Oh, you turn. Huh. What's its level at? turn it's got power 70 that's a fair move I wouldn't give it to uh to echo but I would probably pick somebody else bug type Pokemon are deep there are many mysteries to explore study your top choices thoroughly Study your top choices thoroughly. There we go. I don't think that was right. I forget. I already switched it. It was supposed to be a straight right through. There we go. That was something. Well done. That was a great clash of talented young trainers. With people like you, the future of Pokemon is bright. Um, that was pitiful. Like, I was genuinely scared. <gasps> oh, my baby! My baby. My baby loves me. Hold on, I'm looking up something very important. Damn, okay, fine. I will pause you. Did you mean such a baby about it? <laughs> like, did you hear that? Hold on, I almost got it. Uh, it should be somewhere.
There we go. Okay, now to move on to get that, uh, that move. I think, I think that Swiss knows, yep, you know cut. How did you fucking know? Fucking psychic. Uh, hey, Blue. This is great news. Uh, Pokemon hatch from that egg. Don't ask me how I know, I just know. I knew that giving that egg to you, Blue, was the right thing to do. Haha. <laughs> I made a run. I just knew it. You should come here and show me what kind of Pokemon it is. What we're gonna do first is get headbutt first, and we'll, then we will make our way back to Zaylor Town and search for a Heracross. I feel as though that's more important than an Eversong. Yeah, because now that I think about it, you really should have gotten the, uh, the egg hatched by then. Uh oh, plot. <sighs> I really thought, damn, we have not run into anyone anything yet, and then boom, there it is. Shaking this tree with headbutt. It's fun. Here, you try with your Pokemon too. Which Pokemon should learn it? One, two, three, and poof. So it's learn headbutt. Yeah.
as much as I love the art style of this game, sometimes the repeating assets of just the sameness of trees can get kind of weird and annoying. Because the trees really do blend together. talking to Echo, and she sensed something very near. Hopefully that sense was right. Headbutt that shit. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> she was right! She don't miss! I'm sorry, but this is ours. Th this fucking hair cross is fucking ours. Like, I just cannot believe that we found a hope like, found a fucking hair cross that quickly. They're usually so, uh... Like, they are usually so hard to find. It is a little, it's, it's kind of saddening that, you know, it's such a low level, but it's worth it. Um, I'm going to load that back up again, and then, like, kind of rethink of how we should do this. Load state. Okay, um, we're level 19 Pokemon, and we have to use our weakest move here. We could use Supersonic, and it worked. Maybe if we switch, it'll hurt itself again. Oh, it knows Horn Attack! That's cool. It's really good. Okay, um... this it'll just take a while okay okay now we're gonna switch again and then we're gonna try to catch it for the second time She is so tough, like she is so...
because Echo sensed her from after that dumbass battle with with fucking Fat Mac. This is this is her friend. This is her friend. There you go. There we fucking go. She's a ghoul. Uh -huh. a ghoul. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, I did have to fucking save over, but like, because I wanted her in particular. Heracross, the single horn Pokemon. It is usually docile, but if it is disturbed while sipping honey, it chases off the intruders with its horn. Damn fucking right it does. And I'm going to add her. I just need to think of a name. Uh, let's call her... Let's, let's call her Penny. Loop it over. Browse. And... A lot of the hair cross that I've like caught over the years have been female. I'm just now noticing this. Welcome Penny. We had to rough you up a bit, but like we got you. <laughs> She's got a lax nature, and I'm not sure what that is. Hold on, nature. Hold on. Okay, so she has a strong physical defense and a very poor load special defense. And that's pretty good. A lot of, now that I'm thinking about it, a lot of, um, uh, what's it called? A lot of psychic type moves tend to be, you know, uh, what's it called? Fuck. Special. But it's fine. Holy shit, she kept using, like, leer and horn attack, even though she had, like, four other moves. She just wanted to beat us. Thank you, Echo, for finding her. That was really cool of you. Oh, my sweet girl. I think by level 21, she'll know Aerial Ace and Brick Break, which are very good, very good for us. Those are very good moves, like early on in the game. But thinking of it now, I... I don't know where's the best place to grind to, you know, increase Penny's stats and all that. I think maybe like 
the patch of grass before you get to Violet City would be a good place to start. Welcome, other viewer. We are just now going back to New Bark Town to show Professor Elm of this egg that hatched from an egg. And I think that's pretty cool. She should get some experience from this. I could do the whole switching tactic. It seems to be working fine now. When I was a kid, Quick Attack was like one of my favorite moves like to watch in the show because like, oh my god, Pikachu's running so fast. <laughs> and then I learned that like, it's not actually very quick in game. There are plenty of other moves that are far better. What's over here? That should be a sand shrimp. Her fucking her special attack is still in the what's it called the just the mono uh what's it called numbers <laughs> a single digit that's what it's called a digit but it's fine because I don't think Heracross learns a lot of special moves. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh yeah, there was another dude in here. If there's light, a cave isn't scary. If you're strong, Pokemon aren't scary. A Vulpix! They're so cute, but like, not very strong. I guess I should be able to handle this. Step on a rat and it throws the fight back. I think she'd be able to do this one. Her first battle. Uh, let's just go with Aaliyah first. Zubat can learn Rock Tomb, but I might be rem remembering that wrong. Nope. Must have been some other flying type. Maybe like a, a Skarmory. Level 8? I should be able to handle this one. Is there another thing? Yes, there is.
I know. We're gonna get we're gonna get you to a Pokemon Center really soon. I love that water sound. Ah, that's right. I mean, rock smash. Ooh, I love that sound. Just listen. Damn, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I don't think Penny likes me just yet, but seeing as how our first interaction was just complete confusion from start to finish. Sure. Let, let, let's get rid of um, tackle. Wait, what sphere attack is it? Fifteen. Yeah. And it can sometimes miss. That's fine. I think it does like a baseline of thirty damage. Is corrupted. Okay. Hopefully, a Pokemon battle resets that. <laughs> defense as far as we can go, because I'm so sick and tired of synthesis. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna close the game and open it back up. File, open ROM. I've come to I have come to accept that we sometimes just have to do this. And I save properly. Nice. It's so cool that, cool how like being a bug and fighting type have, has her resist so many types. Like resistant to uh, grass, other bug types, um, I think rock, but I'm not entirely sure. I wish they would add like a ball switching mechanic. Like, like say you catch a Pokemon with a like a regular old Pokeball, but then you want to say like, oh, this luxury ball would help me boost their friendship. I wish I could just you know switch around and get the benefits from that from that particular ball. And then you would just have a regular Pokeball again. And I kind of feel like the, like the way, you know, prevent so much switching is, you know, have like a sort of service behind it, like a, a paywall. Like it would cost more to switch a Pokeball to a higher grade of Pokeball. Like we can just say all of the Pokeballs that can be, that can be made by Apricorns can be like level A or level 1. And higher grades like Luxury Balls and Love Balls and those stuff and they would be in their own category. But I feel like, like, like Game Freak would never do that. Like they're just so boring when it comes to being innovative with their stuff. And the only reason why I like thought of that was because I was watching a Pokemon D&D campaign uh, like a couple months back and like that really just opened my eyes like oh wait that, that would be really cool. Like that's not my original idea. I think a lot of other people have thought that too.
What? That Pokemon? Hmm. As far as I know, there is not a Pokemon like this in Johto. Just like Mr. Pokemon was saying over the phone. Legendary Pokemon could be... Oh, oh. Uh, never mind. Anyway, I'm sure things will be happening around you, Blue. You're making me all excited. I'll give you a pr present for that. Please, take it. The website is massive. <laughs> That's an Everstone. A Pokemon changes its shape as it evolves, but if it's only an Everstone, you can prevent it from evolving. If you have a way, if you have the way Pokemon is now, if you like the way Pokemon is now, have it hold an, e an Everstone. Blue, good luck with your journey. Oh, one more thing, don't forget about my research. I forget about my research. <laughs> Alright, time to never see you again, Tio. past here. If you want to catch them all, you have to look everywhere. Oh, Spiro. It's like a Spiro and Geodude up here. One more. There you go. You should try a different route sometime. You never know what Pokemon you're gonna get. Wink. I think Spiro and Geodude live up there is because that southern route is like connecting to where the dragon type gym leader is. And only like rough and tough Pokemon can live over there. All the other dragon types. Did it really take four? Huh. That's really weird. Oh, I, that's right. Level two is real.
so glad that there's not an, an electric type gym. Because that would really suck. I think Lance is one of the few trainers that like uses electric type moves. With his Dragonites. Eighty-five percent is eighty-five percent accuracy. That sucks. I wonder if Penny can handle this one. It's just imagine this cave being longer than it was. And I don't know why. I think it's I think it's because I'm simply younger when I played this.
Oh man. Sorry, I was just I was looking up if Ditto is the parent and and you breed like which po like what Pokeball with the uh with the you know with the Pokemon be in once you hatch it and it says that Ditto has no influence over over the Pokeball that it's in which kind of sucks. Let me check to see if that's the case in like Soul Silver. That was... uh... Yeah, Ditto cannot pass on Pokeballs, so we're just gonna have to just take the the EV as is. And in case those who didn't know, I was trying to make it so that I could like breed an Eevee with a friend ball and get like a higher friendship and just get that whole thing over with. But nope. I just... I was proven wrong. So I guess I won't even have to catch a ditto. City. <laughs> you must be imagining. Anyway, will you show me how to get out of this forest? This sucks because, like, I mean, sure, yeah, I'll help you, but I don't know the way. And if I say no, I look like a fucking asshole. So it's either like I'm lying or I'm a dick. Fuck, let's be a dick. Oh my, you are lost yourself, aren't you? Wow, are you going to show me how to get out? You're such a smart Pokemon. See you. I thought she would comment on the fact that Tio was alive, but that wasn't the same. Come on, old girl. This is where I do my training.
Ah, oh, shit. Double weak to flying, but she can handle it. Switch. Whoa! Okay, we have one antidote. There we go. Chucking so hard. I just got my Pokemon back from daycare. Let's see how much stronger I got. my gut that she was gonna fucking crit. Hell yeah. My Pokemon knew moves I didn't know it had. That confounded me to the end. Eh. 
Okay. Never be afraid to heal your Pokemon. That's 50. Uh, I'll just use the potion. Save some of the trainers for the that we'll get, but I don't know. I kind of also want to have Penny. I hope so. Because I think in the Goldenrod City Gym, all the trainers are like at a bare minimum of 15. Like, that's the lowest, I think. 20. I think maybe Miltank's high, like, Miltank is obviously um, Whitney's strongest Pokemon, but I think her, her Miltank is like level 25, level 27, so they kind of need to be around there. I'm so glad that I have a lot of girl Pokemon because a track is was horrible for me in my previous like, personal rounds of this game. Because I've never seen anyone competitively use uh, what's it called? a track. So it's just so weird when like an NPC uses it on me. If you transferred into my class, I'd become the second best student in my class, wouldn't I? I want to get stronger before that ha could happen, so would you trade my phone number with me? No. I don't even know you, kid. Inescapable cutscene. Grandpa? Good work, Grandpa. The Pokemon you raised for me has been as healthy as can be. You look fit, too. Hi, Blue. Let me introduce you. This is Blue. He's a trainer. He seems to be getting better at racing Pokemon. Well, not as, not as good as you, Grandpa, of course. <laughs> Follow me, Blue. I do need to even talk. Weird. Grandma! Let me introduce you to my friend. This is Blue. Aha! This is your boy friend. I see. Hmm. What? Grandma? <laughs> what are you talking about? He just happens to live nearby. <laughs> Ha ha I know, I know. Ah, ha ha And that grandmother. And her bloodline. You too, Lyra. Since you brought him here, Lyra, you must be sure about his talent. Right, Blue? Come and see us anytime. Well, I better go now. See ya. Oh! I almost forgot! Pushing your damn Pokemon for it, goddamn. Here! This is my Pokemon my, my Pokemon gear number.
cool. You know you can talk to your Pokemon as they follow you. They do all sorts of cute stuff on the road and, and in towns. I'm taking notes every time they do funny things. Give me a call and I'll share some of them with you. Grandma! Don't you say anything. We're both trainers and we are supposed to exchange numbers. That's all. Yeah! Oh my fucking god. You just left the building. Did I really ignore the number? <laughs> I ignored her call! Oh my god. Hell fucking yeah, you literally just left. Why would you even try to call again? Okay, I'm gonna save the game, just in case this building is cursed. Excuse that, I was... I got a notification. Moved on. Oh my god. I have an idea. I'll give you our numbers. Mm. Then you can check on the Pokemon we raised for you. I won't be using this mechanic. We're not mechanics. We're... We raise Pokemon. Anyway... Call us from your, from time to time when you give us your Pokemon to raise. I'll be happy to have you for this Poke Gear my grandchild gave me. It's very weirdly shaped. Looks like an apple. Don't you ever fucking say that shit again to me. Uh, what? That it looks like an apple? Don't, don't. Confident in my ability to raise Pokemon. Want to see? No. Get his ass. Shit, shit, fuck. Why is it faster than us? Ugh. Good thing this isn't a Nuzlocke. We won't. I swear, if a Hypno comes out and tries to, I mean a Drowsy, I'm gonna bite it. Shit, fucking confusion.
Hey, Penny. Okay. I didn't think it would do that fucking much. It, it was a Psyduck, and I only thought... <laughs> I only saw that, that it was a fucking side I didn't actually look at the level. But that's really no excuse now, is it? Huh. They know extra sensory. Hold on. Serene Grace. I don't think I've ever seen it before. That ability. It's what you would call nifty. Now you say that little girl, but <laughs> plenty of other people would argue otherwise. Give me my free fucking Eevee. Give it to me now. My big brother Bill made the Pokemon storage system. Oh? You collect Pokemon? <laughs> my son Bill is an expert. He just got a call to the Pokemon Center in Accurateek City. Where the fuck is my free Eevee? Telling me that we have to go to Ecrotique City, talk to Bill, then have him come all the way back here. Okay, um. Fine. I'm willing to get this EV right here right now, but the thing is there are other things that we can get right now. We, we can get a bike, and we can also uh, get that watering can, I think. That's only if we have the badge, the gym here. Huh. I opened a branch here, but I can't get, I can't like, I, I can't fucking say my words. I can't get my bikes to sell. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Yeah, hell fucking yeah, dude. Sure. Bag. Key item. Bicycle. Register. There we go. Now which one? Shit. <laughs> which, which one is it? S? Or is it? Oh, it's Y. There we go. Y is A for me. Okay, now we have the bike. I think we have to have a certain amount of steps before he, like, lets us keep it, but you know. This shit's ours. Apparently, there is an odd tree on Route 36. They say it dances when you water it. Oh, of course not. This is a flower shop, so we do have watering cans and things like that, but I cannot let you have one. It's too dangerous. Hmm. Well, maybe if you manage to defeat the Golden Rod City gym leader, it, it might be okay. Hopefully they let us out of the city. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. 
Alright. Oh shit. What? <laughs> I've been getting Pokemon data off the radio. I think I'm good. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Hold on. That... I'm confused as to specifically where that tr that fucking thing is. It blocks its path to the fucking next city, so we won't we won't be able to get that EV. Yeah, the next couple hours are going to be like a lot of grinding. I can feel it. That's very disappointing, but like, we can always just go check. Because we do have Swiss to cut down that tree. Uh, yeah, uh um, you'll see what I mean. There's a tree up ahead, and Swiss will be able to cut it. attack missed at all. I thought it was like 100. Shit, this is like 90. Or maybe that dig would be the same attack. I just was not paying attention. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. No, please don't. Please. Okay. Okay. Okay, switching to puppy. Because I didn't want to risk it. Police officers only attack us at night. Shit. I keep forgetting 
what moves other Pokemon have. Damn, watch you get fucking poisoned from this. Okay, damn, why, why didn't I use water? Okay, you're fine. Ugh. I didn't want to do that. And you have fucking Voltorbs. You have four Voltorbs, don't you? They probably have static. Plans falling apart. <laughs> My whole team. One of us is over level, and two of us are fucking aller fucking allergic. I, I I was gonna say, but I guess I did. Allergic to electric uh, electricity. <laughs> I didn't like any of that. That was really rough. This is the second time that fucking uh, the same Pokemon fainted. And I don't like that. Like how frequently. I feel like Spongebob when he was pushing Gary in that one episode where like he was trying to get him to race and train him so hard till he fucking exploded on the track. <sighs> like, like it's fine to uh, to faint to like a fucking um, professional trainer like a gym battle. But that happens way too frequently. It happens way too often.
I always felt so jealous of the fact that this character, um, just this, this NPC had a Bulbasaur and I didn't. Like, how dare you? move to finish you off instead of like making sure that you're done and out I mean, down and out and like how I do that too sometimes I, I just think that it's funny that they accounted for that I think it's kind of dumb too when gym leaders are like the only other, like gym leader and like the elite four are the only ones who just happen to know <laughs> what a potion is as if a standard trainer can't afford one. You know? It's very strange. It's just the added on difficulty. I know, but it's, it's very dumb. Like, them being able to regenerate should not be the only reason why they're hard. Oh my god. Hey, Lyra. Hi, Blue. You are just in time. When you follow this tunnel, you'll see a dress-up shop. That's where your Pokemon can put on accessories to dress up and to take pictures. By the way, here's the fashion case. Did you say you want it? <laughs> I knew it. This is a present from me. Thanks. Keep accessories in the fashion case, okay? I should get going. <laughs> see you! cheating. Me. They thought I was cheating. <laughs> Super nerd Eric. How dare you call me cheating. Go Grimer! Horn attack. Uh, I would hate to, ugh. He probably sunk in there too. In the goop. That is Grimer. Stop doing that, please. 
some fucking poison gas and hit us directly. Thank you. I guess I have to do things fair and square. <laughs> My Pokemon just got a haircut. I'll show you how strong it is. Your Pokemon will like you more if you give them haircuts. Sonic Boom, and I'm gonna have to switch. Go, Magnum 3. I will just have to heal. Because Penisu is gonna have to be our defense for electric right now. Simply because she has no weakness. Too. 
Ah, oh, shit. Come on. You actually fucking nicknamed your Pokemon. Weirdo. Watch them get fucking realized. Ow, ow, ow. I know all the different types of Pokemon. I don't have to use one type. I mean, using electric type Pokemon is pretty smart. They only have one weakness, but, you know, you meet that weakness. It's all downhill. I think you have some rare Pokemon with you. Let me see them. Slowpoke, why do you have such a high defense and special defense? I guess it's just why you're so viable for a lot of people. go to sleep right now, so I'm just going to switch over to, uh, Echo and Puppy Jr. Are you? Wow, you, uh, love that move, huh? Fine. how she's not falling asleep even though she's just like coming back to my side and like now I should run into a Pokeball. He's fucking growl. Okay, well, we're gonna just use Aerial Ace so it doesn't miss. That should be their last Pokemon. Nice. <gasps> Ice Fang, hell yeah! Forget rage.
Mm. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna save real quick, and when I come back, I'm going to continue on to the next route, which is like Route 34, I think, or 35. And uh, we'll just use those trainers to to level up. Uh, let's Penny. Because at level 19, she uh, she learns Brick Break, and that's gonna be very helpful for the next gem. And we also have to, we also have to like progress the story so we can uh, do do the gem in general. So we're gonna have to go to the next route, defeat all the trainers, then go to the tower, and then you know do whatever needs to be done. So yeah, I'm gonna pause this. And go with the break screen. Pull up some music for y'all so y'all can listen to it. And I'm feeling and I'm feeling pretty pretty good today, but I just wanna take a, a little break. See y'all in about 20 minutes or so.
Walking through the desert, searching for the truth. And everything behind me went to came out of the roof. Walking through the day, night, and sleep under the moon. Watch every single side of him, and the rush just seems to move. You're one thousand miles away, but if you come while I'm away, stay the night, stay the night. You're one thousand miles away, but if you come while I'm away, stay the night, stay the night. Swimming in the ocean, don't know which one it was. I was diving to the bottom, searching for your love. I heard I was a treasure no one has ever seen. You hide inside a locket, buried inside for me. You're one thousand miles away, but if you come while I'm away, stay the night, stay the night. You're one thousand miles away, but if you come while I'm away, stay the night, stay the night, you stay the night. Just forget the world Underneath the stars Now you're here with you Flying here like this with you All alone is gone
Turn back the time and let you know to come home. Hello, that took a lot longer than I expected, so I am back, and again, I apologize, <laughs> but I guess time slipped away from me, so yeah, we're going to play, and we're going to continue on, we're, we're going to go to Route 34, not R Route 35. Sorry if I am out of breath, I rushed back. I rushed. 
back from the from bathroom. <sighs> I was gone for 27 minutes. Okay, um, let's see what you're at. Level 14, so she has like, what's that? Seven, well, seven to be ready to beat the gym, you know. But yeah, she won't, she won't learn that other move until like level 19, I think. Nineteen is what she learns for three. Okay, so there's this like double team, like a, I mean like a, a double battle, and I, I think, I'm not sure if, if one of them definitely has a, has a Pikachu, but I think other than that, it should be a very easy double battle, so for the sake of getting some, like a, Big cachet of fucking experience. I'm gonna put all in, all of my Pokemon in the th in the thing. This is very risky, and I've never actually done this before. But and it'll, it'll most likely end in fucking heartache, unnecessary heartache. But I'm willing to chance it. So I have faith in myself and in my Pokemon. have to fucking no actually no we don't we don't have to fucking actually i was saying what, what i was trying to say was we should use the bike but like we literally don't even have to do it for him okay so from what i remember the girl has two pokemon and i think the dude only has one so this should be fine. What do you have to say about it, Penny? <laughs> All right. Oh, it's not a double battle. It's, it's fucking separate. So I just... I did all that for nothing. Now I'm gonna fucking... I just don't understand why it's not a double battle, you know? Okay. We will be keeping Aerial Ace for a very long time. I'm sick and tired of having my accuracy fucked around with. 
by the Pokemon. That's why you don't do fucking double battles with him. That's sad. Uh, okay, we're gonna lower... Yeah, we're gonna have to lower it. Okay. Growl on us. It's gonna be a leer and horn attack kind of battle. Holy shit! Like... We're gonna have to fucking break even anyway. Cause look at this. I'm gonna have to rely on aerial ace again. It won't do as much damage, but it'll, you know, be guaranteed to hit. There we go. It wouldn't click right. I think has two magmas. Go for another leer. Okay. Okay. This will be fine. Critical hit? Damn! What is with this game and the crits? On both sides? No. Okay, that was... That was too close for comfort. I think there's a PC in this room up here. I'm not sure. 
Nice, there is. No. God, we just left. Thank <laughs> you. 
payback only really works for Pokemon that are slower than the person who's, you know, doing the damage on Critical hit! Ugh. I keep pushing and I, and I never learn. <laughs> I never learn! I want to get as many Pokemon on our team as possible because leveling up is a pain later on.
Hold on. I'm gonna save really quick, and then I'm gonna check the fucking sound settings. Because the, the emulator is running pretty okay when it comes to the visual aspects, but I wonder if I have the sound as, as well as I could have. Interpolation? It says the coastline is the slowest and it sounds best. I'm not entirely sure what that really means, so I'm not gonna really mess with that. You know what? I honestly could just test it. Coastline, slowest, sounds best. Okay. Really should have fastest with no interpolation. It sounds okay, I guess. It's definitely not the highest quality, but... But with my computer, I just have to do what's best, you know? a Pokemon that can't really defend itself in the battlefield.
see what you got. One Pokemon. A Tangle. He chose a grass type and one of the most obscure Pokemon possible. Sure. I may be mocking Tangela, but like... I don't know, maybe one day I'll, I'll use one. Poison powder, and I have no antidote. Fuck you. And I fucking had aerialist. I could have fucking one shot. Oh my god. That's on me, Penny. I'm sorry. a berry to help. Oh my god. And I can't I don't want her to faint because it's my fault that she's even like this. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm checking to see if poison... Every four. Huh. In this, in this generation, the poison doesn't just go away, it just stays there until you do something about it. I kind of was hoping for that.
Okay. She seems better, and she's almost ready to reach level 19. Sun Kern. Just gonna have to lower the stats first. Okay, that sucks, but like when we do actually hit, it'll be stronger. Oh my god. Certain moves, I, had, I don't know how to use them properly to yield the best result every single time, so I just. I don't mess with uh, Endor. No. Don't give me your number. That's a priority move. Mm. 
Is it really going to make us flinch every single time? Okay. to try to ask for my number, but like, I said no, simple as that. Okay, this is getting weird. Like, how fast is Penny? Like, she can't be that slow, right? Because all of these Pokemon that are like way lower than her. 38. 34. She's the fastest one here. I guess those are just priority moves. They just take a higher precedence. damage and the fucking guts kicking in.
No. I kind of want... <laughs> now, this may be weird, but I kind of want to... Uh... Just use potions on... On, uh... On Penny. Because it's something that doesn't... Hinder her in a fight. It always just... Makes her not be able to move. Which is really fucked up when I think about it. But I just want this this gym to be as painless as possible. Ooh, dig. I hate how the TMs are always like, oh yeah, TM28 times one, as if I can get more than one of each <laughs> fucking technical machine. Like, I, ha I have to, like, fucking cheat just to get more. just be like, oh, haha, -ha, screw you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play ball with, with my friend Timmy, or some shit. But, um... They wouldn't be able to catch you, would they? So there's really no fear. understood what this thing was. Global terminal. Welcome to Goldenrod's Radio Tower. This is the Pokemon Lottery Corner. I'm Felicity, your attendant today. If the draw number matches the ID number of any of your Pokemon, you can win fabulous gifts. You know, you take a tiny little, little, little lumber. Uh, you okay? Mm hmm. First, I'll look up today's Pokemon Lottery Corner lucky number. Your lotto ticket number is 06852. Let's see if it matches the ID number of any of your Pokemon. I'm so sorry. You didn't get a match. Mm. You're really milking that, huh? Mm. Hi, I'm Whitney. I heard about the quiz to win a radio car, so I came here to get one. But this quiz is so hard. I've done this so many times, it, it, it would be weird if I didn't get this right. Sure. First question. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. No. Paper corns. This one always fucks me up. I'm saving, because I don't really care. I'm gonna say, no. Okay. <sighs> wow, you, you did it. I thought the answer to the third question was surely apricots. It's apricorns. Ah, of course. Oops, it's time to go back to the gym. Uh-huh. I'm not even gonna ask how you're doing. You must be okay. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. It's just your ability. It's really horrible. Like, like why? It's so centered around the fucking Pokemon's discomfort. Like, you got Moxie, kid. <laughs> when, like, bruh, like, that shouldn't matter. My Pokemon is hurting. Yo, Chop the making. This gem is home to normal type Pokemon trainers. I recommend you use fighting type Pokemon. I hate how we just straight up just uh, like it's so fucked up. Like you're supposed to be here to be a bodyguard, and here you are throwing out. Oh, you are a cute little trainer. I like you, but I won't hold back. Your hair across doesn't look very good. She's... She's gonna be... Okay, just don't fucking worry about it. Mind your business. She's got guts. It's... Her cool superpower. Your second son. Oh shit, that's why. Come on. Whitney? He's got a fighting type Pokemon. One shopping my Pokemon. <laughs> Come on, Penny. It's okay. This badge is yours. It'll be ours. Just takes a little pain to get there. about the quality of those Pokemon, he just is there to win. It's sickening. Okay, it's not that fucking big a deal. Like, I promise you I love my Pokemon. Sure. Give it your best shot or I'll take you down. Sounds a little bit of fear in your voice. Uh, no, there's not. Go! Meow! Something about that Pokemon makes me distrust it. I don't know why. What is with these priority moves? Like, it's like every single time. 
It's like they fear the power of Penny. And rightfully so. Like, like you should fear her. Well, come on. See him. What the fuck was that? That was weird. There you go. Alright. Um, uh, okay, right. Yeah, there's really nothing like there's really nothing to this gem. We'll deal with you first. I like cute Pokemon better than strong Pokemon, but I have strong and cute Pokemon. <laughs> Ugh. Go, Penny. <gasps> Wait! This is good! Thinking about it again. Okay, so the thing about fucking uh, Whitney, uh, both of her Pokemon are female and they both use Attract. But the thing about fucking Milton is that rollout. Penny should be able to fucking two shot it with Brick Break as long as, as long as you know she can fucking you know not be paralyzed. But the thing about Clefairy is it knows Attract and Sing, but because Penny is paralyzed, she can't you know. Be overtaken by the song. Which is very comforting. So really Penny has to like Penny is is our definite best choice in taking down this gym. Especially when she's like this. Oh no, I keep using Brick Break. Oh no, uh, I may have to use an Ether, and I don't really use it as often. Because I say like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll use an Ether for the fucking Elite Four, and I never use one. This is the last one. Ooh. Fuck it, use horn attack. Ooh. There we fucking go. My fucking superstar. <laughs> Wait. That's so, uh, ooh. Superstar has such a weird connotation for me, simply because of just a person pushing their, pushing whoever they're coaching so hard. And don't worry, y'all. I'm definitely going to fucking heal her after this gym battle, because, like, her being in pain constantly is, is not worth it. That, that doesn't feel right. You shouldn't let your guard down just because I don't look tough. Brick 
one shot at one shot at one shot at one. Come on, baby, get it done. Hell yeah. Gosh, I thought you were weak. Whatever. Who do you think are strong? Neither. Because, I don't know. The whole fucking argument, like, <laughs> well, boys are fucking bred to be fucking stronger, physically stronger than girls, so obviously a man would always win against a woman. But, but it's like... <laughs> okay, fucker. First of all, if you think, you know, just because you have the capability of punching hard doesn't mean you're gonna be able to fucking land a punch on a woman and win. So honestly, it's just kind of misogynistic to think that, like initially, like from, like not even thinking about it. Also, why would they fucking present that in a game like this? I can just imagine all the fucking middle school boys being like, Oh duh, fucking boys are fucking stronger, they're faster, they're better, like, like shut up. And then the fucking... Like, it feels like a call-out. Like you have to fucking, like, a knee-jerk reaction to defend yourself. Hey, Penny. I know that you're, like, very tired, and I've been just tending to your wounds, but not like your actual ailment, like the fucking <sighs> this medical community. But it's okay, your fucking HP is at 69, the highest and funniest number possible. So you'll be fine, you'll be okay, I love you so much, and I cut her head. Hi, <laughs> I'm Whitney. You, I saw you at the radio tower just now. And you've just been fucking decimating my, my, uh, my whole underlings. We are not underlings, we are just members of this fucking gym, Whitney. Can it, Martha? You're not even fucking on screen. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want a battle? I'm warning you. I'm good. I thought otherwise, and I don't know why. What the fuck? It knows metronome. Holy shit. I didn't consider that. What the hell? <laughs> Goodbye, you're, you're done. You're, you're done, goodbye. Get out of here. I don't like that. That That's an agent of chaos. I don't like that shit. That fucking Kofari was in league with Loki himself. One left, but I ain't losing, you hear? Penny. Got this. Stop fucking. Woo! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You got this. It's okay. Yee! Fucking hell yeah! Oh my god! <sighs> Hell yeah, Penny. This badge is fucking yours. We love to see it. Ugh! Fuck? 
Um. Are you, like, gonna give me my fucking badge or what? Man, fuck this place. Oh no! You may- you may- you may make me cry! No, I'm lying. <laughs> It's okay. She'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Is that a fucking... greed? Oh no, they- oh shit. They won't let me leave. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you want? A batch? Oh, right. I forgot. Here's the plain badge. The plain badge lets you... Lets your Pokemon use strength outside of battle. Oh! You can have this, too. It's a tract. It makes full use of Pokemon's charm. Isn't it just perfect for a cutie like me? A fucking... Red beaten eyes. Trying to do the cute kawaii pose. That's right. I heard that thing called the po poke Poke... Poke Athlon Dome is open right next to the National Park. You should go try it, since you're so good at battling with your Pokemon. Hell fucking yeah. We got our fucking se third badge. I almost said second. She was... Fucking Bugsy was so unremarkable. And with that... Plain badge is ours. <sighs> Fix that fucking sparkle. There we go. That's as good as we can get it. Look at it sparkle now. All thanks to my baby, my pride and joy. Penny. My mind took a break. Hey. Oh yeah, I forgot you got a haircut. Hey Echo. Like my little boy. I can't believe he fucking destroyed all of us with a single Pokemon. That's ridiculous. Let's cancel him on Twitter. Uh, excuse me? So this fucker... So this fucker came into my gym and he fucking destroyed us. He cheated, but I gave him the badge anyway, just to make him leave. <laughs> And that would in turn get her cancelled, Whitney. <laughs> and she'd fucking like <laughs> do an apology video. <laughs> fucking Whitney would be the one to do a fucking apology video, without a doubt. Like fucking gray clothes and all. Mo mo monetize video. so much my sweet girl now enjoy this rest because we should get a new fucking what's it called addition to the team very soon yes.
Give me the fucking water can, please. This house has, has to offer. Sometimes a healthy Pokemon may be unable to use its move. If that happens, heal at a Pokemon Center or use an item. <coughs> Once while I was battling, my Pokemon couldn't use any moves. The power points, or PP, <laughs> of its moves were all gone. You enjoyed saying pee pee, huh? <laughs> pee pee. This may be foolish to use, uh, Echo straight up, but. I kinda don't have any other choice because she's the only one that can do like a status move. And I'm kinda counting on that for it to work properly. It would be so good if we can evolve that Eevee as soon as we get it. Actually, I need to look at the fucking move. Moves for EV. At least for you know. Diamond and Pearl standards. Okay, EV. Soul Silver, and from Pill. Okay, at level 29, they learn. Level 29, they learn Bite, and level 57, they learn Trump Card. The fewer PP this move has, the stronger it will be. That's a pretty good move. Okay. Trump card's base power is dependent on the amount of PP that it has left. Its P its base PP is 5, so it can go up to 8 in amount of base power. However, this attack is one case or using a PP up or PP max on it is a bad idea. There are five. Yeah, that makes sense. Because like because with 5 through 8, it has a base power of 40, and with a PP of 4, it has 50. 3 for 60, 2 for 75, and 1 for 190. So... That's... That's pretty good. At least from what I think. You can only really use it like five times. But like, you know, when you do use it, that's pretty good. And you take a turn of using ether, and then you're starting off. Trump card would have to be used like at the very start of a match, and then, I don't know. There's a lot of things that could happen. But, uh, let's check Umbreon in the way that it levels up. Okay, um... Ooh, okay. So it learns Pursuit at level 15, but... Uh, 
but it also learns Feign Attack at level 36. No, no, no. It learns Confuse Ray at level 29. So... It's not that good of a move, so I don't want to like evolve it that quickly, you know. So at like level 29, that's when I want that EV to evolve. That way, you can learn both Bite and uh, Confuse Ray. Yeah, that is best course of action, at least in my eyes. I can't believe Heracross can learn, like has the possibility of learning Night Slash, like from an egg, without any help at all. That's... <sighs> kind of overpowered. So yeah. That's my plan for this EV. I'm gonna give it, um... Oh, good thing that I have that Everstone. Now that I think about it. I'm the flower shop's Floria. Listen, listen. When I sprinkled water on that wiggly tree, it jumped right up. It has to be a Pokemon. If you soaked it... Oh, that's a squirt bottle. Soak the tree for me and I want to see what happens. I have a water type, so this is kind of like... A waste. Like, I could just use water gun on this thing. I am going to save though. Just in case something happens. have like a mega evolve pseudo wheel that's like a grass rock type and have it like have rain dish to absorb water instead of being hurt by it. It would be double weak to ice though. Okay, supersonic. Go.
Okay, cool. You're a fucking rock type. You should be able to take this. Okay. kind of cheap and that breaks the immersion but I want this Pokemon like I want to catch it I, I, I won't use it but I don't like it. so hard to catch in the light. Bust out. Okay. It disguises itself as a tree to avoid attack. It hates water so it will disappear if it starts raining. Yeah, we needed this. We will mostly be using this to farm orange berries, so because uh, it comes up later on in the. Specifically to help any, like, sick mill tank. But we have to be very, uh, careful with this. Because once we run out of fucking lore berries, that's pretty much it. And in this game, the mill tank require a significant amount. I think it's like 20 or 20 to 30. I, I may be overshooting, but like, keep that in mind. Oh shit, I forgot to water them. on how many steps we take, so it should be fine. How you doing? Uh, are we close enough for me to have this? Cool. Orange fluff. He basically gives me pocket money, but I appreciate it anyway. How tall are crocodile? Wrong thing. 
Three foot seven. And I'll give or take that. Uh, our trainer is like maybe five. Let's just say that they're five feet tall. That's pretty standard for a. Uh, for a. What, what do you call him? Damn, what are you. A kid! A, fuck, a, a child! A young boy! I was like, what the fuck? What, am, what word am I thinking of? Dun, dun, dun. good high special attack and a shitty special defense that is really bad that's a bad nature for you it really should be the other way around deposit yes I will have to ex exit the box We could go down there and explore, but I'm in a hurry to get that Eevee. Also, I've only got like an hour left to stream, so I wanna boost this friendship with this Eevee as soon as possible. Really kick it up. Ah, there's a... Yep. Give her chin scratches. Let's beat up these toddlers. We're not toddlers, we're like five. And you're short. End of story. Dark type move, so it should. So, as horrid and and un, uncaring Morty is towards us, we should be able to fucking beat him. He's a wing attack. He's a fight. I lost. I lost. Uh, why are you making it about you? Like, oh my god. They just start fucking fighting. Like, why do you always do that? We, you, you always have to fucking always. You said fuck. I'm gonna tell mom. <gasps> no! Oh, you are you are a cute little trainer. Why don't you battle me? You have crow's feet. <laughs> What'd you say about my fucking girl? How dare you? 
Hey, hey there, young, young, baby-faced fucker. Won't you battle with me? Uh, it's like you want to battle with me. So my fucking problem that you're fucking 30. Uh, uh, 30 is the new 20. Ever heard of that? Mm -hmm. Hold to everything about you. Water gun, a wiggly tough. Fight it again. You use ice cream. Make it freeze. Bullshit. Goodbye. Trying that. Don't catch feelings, Puppy Junior. It's a lie. Okay, fine then. I guess we're focusing on the Clefable. Oh no! I didn't think! Fucking like, better not. Why do you always get poisoned? Okay, fine. I guess you're using Ice Ring on that. Slap him out of it, please. Wake up, puppy junior. It, it's not real. Oh. Please use water gun, baby. Come on. What the fuck was that? Was it truly a 50-50? I, I thought he would have kept doing it on that specific spot. That's why he kept... Wow. It's been raining this entire time, but I thought it was something different. Like, oh my god. <laughs> like, it just so happened. Hell yeah, you want to use Confuse Ray. Forget Super Sonic. Nice. Puppy Junior! This is like your... Is this... Give another wing attack. Please use water gun, please. Please use water gun. Thank you. And there's another fucking wiggly top. I don't care. Actually, no, you use bites. Actually, let's just go for it. You use bite and you use water. Gun. Nice.
for a giraffe egg. I've never had one before, and I don't really know anything about it, but it would be interesting. I'm not the biggest fan of this design, but it would be nice to just have a straight-up psychic type, but I'm gonna get a dark type of those. I think Dark type has more type coverage. Like, it can defeat Psychic, but it doesn't really have the benefit of, you know, poison. Bill, you feel like you owe me something just for existing. Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Hmm, blue, huh? You know what? I'm the one who developed the system to transfer Pokemon, but it couldn't have done... It could have been done by me alone. For example, do you know the Hoenn region? The girl Annette from Hoenn made the Pokemon system for storage easier to use. My friend all over the... My friends all over the world are working together to improve the Pokemon trade and storage systems. I have to hurry on back to Golden Road and, and see my folks. Bye bye. Yeah, fucking Eevee, it's mine. Also get a magmar here. Like like definitely. It would take a while. But first we have to go get some bubble claws. How many can we get? 41. Holy shit, we have a lot of money. Uh we will get 15 just in case. Some of these Pokemon just don't want to be caught. That's too bad. bike for our sponsorship. We have to, because that's just how it is. We'll, we'll cut through the park, because that way we won't run into any wild Pokemon. Damn, that looks pretty.
Fuck! Get out of my face. Wait a tap. I was almost I was almost worried that like poison point would take effect, but thing is how you're a poison type yourself. Oh hey, this is the bike shop. I've been selling a lot of bikes lately. It's because you've been riding around with a bike advertising for me. I was wondering how best to thank you and I thought I'd just give you the bicycle you're riding around. It's yours. Thank you so much. this shit anyway like there was no binding contract no one would have came for me if i didn't fucking <gasps> that, that would that, that would be fun though like him sending people after me and if i stand for too long like a fucking character will like rush at me and, and i'd have to fucking battle them and if i lost i'd have to give it back and then buy a whole new bicycle It would be very scary for a young kid to do, to go through, but it is what it is. Oh, a useful phone number. Oh. Sure, I guess. Uh-huh. Yeah, but hey, Bill. Oh, hi, Blue. Would you do something for me? And take this Eevee? It came from... It came over when I was adjusting Nintendo Wi-Fi code connection. I don't know what in Nintendo is, but okay. Someone has taken... has to take care of it. But I don't... like being outside. Can I count on you to play with it, Blue? Yep. Gimme. <laughs> I knew you'd come through. You're the real deal. Way to go. I'm counting on you. Take good care of it. for this. <laughs> Hold on, I have to get the correct sprite. Eevee is so far down the list, I think. I have to keep out for Flareon and, and the like. right now, so I'm just going to make it up as we go. Uh, hmm. Sorry. Uh, I don't know. How about... Hmm. Not Axel. Um, Alucard. Sure. Dracula backwards. And source on loop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just kept him that small. That, that would be very hard to see though. There he is. There's Alucard. My sweet boy. He 
Yu-Gi-Oh! is such a great Pokemon because they're like a, a good mix between like a cat and a dog. But I think they're more based off of a fox. At least that's what I interpret them as. Trying to group them together, but okay, there we go. Um, team. I'll put it in caps. So it's okay. Ah, oh, shit. tedious work. There we go. That way they're all together. Nice. So we have a water type, a poison flying type, a bug, a bug, bug, uh, a bug flying type normal type, which will soon be a dark type, and so, wait, oh, and then we're going to have the entire team ready, uh, fire, and then an electric steel type, because they're very close to each other, so basically the team's all ready, and I guess that's a good place to end. At least the way I see it. With, with the entire team ready to go. Uh, hold on. What am I thinking to do right now? And Magmar. I need to know specifically where Magmar is, though. Because they're in, like, the Burnt Tower, and they're very rare to get. I need details. Wrong thing. I thought I was closing off something else, but I just closed off the entire tab. Uh, okay. I hate how it's doing this. Hold on. Uh, basement four one. Ah, oh, what? Okay, so it spawns at night too. I was, I, I thought. Yeah, 
it spawns more often during the day, but like it still spawns regardless. So moving on, we're gonna go and uh Professor Elm said Eevee can evolve into seven different types of Pokemon. And then they're level five, which is a little disheartening, but give you this. Crap, I forgot to. Mild nature, which means you don't really have anything you're mild. <gasps> ooh, ooh, wait, hold on. You have a very good attack stat and very poor defense, but I need to know if a lot of dark type moves are even, you know, uh, what's it called? Special or not. I think Dark Pulse is, but I think there's one by TM. I should do this research beforehand, but... Yeah. Sorry, y'all. I'll make sure to stream just a little bit over the six-hour mark so that we can do what we need to do. Good for Umbreon. Okay, Umbreon. Okay, yep, Dark Pulse is a special move, but I need to know where it is, though. So it's TM79. TM79. Soul Silver. Okay, we can get it, okay. We can get it in the Celadon department store or on Victory Road. That's a little disappointing, but. Actually, that's a lot of disappointment. <laughs> You won't be at your fullest potential until much later on. But, uh, welcome to the team, Hello Card. I feel so <laughs> determined right now. Uh, we're just gonna go to Ecrotique and then we're gonna go left of, of the city. We're gonna select the Magnemite. It's gonna be a hell of a ton of, like a lot grinding next stream, but it's necessary so that we can all get to the same level. Please stop lagging. I don't get this, like, okay, there we go. Now, now we're in the 50s when it comes to FPS.
eradicate. Another eradicate. What's the percentage? all throughout okay off the table. There we go. Level 16. Okay, we're saving right there. Okay. 
Don't forget the great ball. It was a little close for comfort, but you did it. I'll call you Tesla. Welcome to the team. Tesla. There we go. Welcome to the team, Tesla. Now just put you in with everybody else officially. Oh shit. There we go. And He's officially in the scene because he's in the folder. Magnet Bolt prevents Steel type Pokemon from escaping. Taking a look at Magnezone and seeing if I, I can get that Pokemon. I cannot. I have to trade it from Diamond and Pearl. Which I can't do because this isn't a real, a real NDS cartridge. I know we're skipping around. There we go. that the the dude like the story is gonna progress as soon as we walk in there so I'm just gonna 
put Swiss in there. I don't care about your side mission, dude. Please don't talk to me. My name is Yusin. I'm on the trail of Pokemon called Suikun. And you are? Blue. Glad to meet you. I'm not. I heard rumors that Suikun is here. So I came to look. Take a look at the basement floor. The hole. There. Suikun sits down there. I could go downstairs, but I knew it would run away in no time. I know. I have tried it many times. Okay. Are you like... My name is Morty. I am... Ecritique's gym leader. Because I am an old friend of Yusin. And him being hot on trail of Suicune, I decided to investigate the Burn Tower. Ecrotik has a legend about these legendary Pokemon, Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. As the Pokemon gym leader of Ecrotik, I must have a proper understanding of it. Sure, bud. I didn't say fuck. <sighs> oh, it's you. You must be here to catch the legendary Pokemon that makes yourself look strong. That. It's only a dream. You see, the legendary Pokemon suits of a trainer like me, who has sworn to the strongest trainer. A battle with Team Rocket Grunts is just right for you. You're not as cool as you think you are. Fucking prick. I swear. <laughs> like, I was really taunting him to use fucking mean look again. But, uh, nah, they so he, he chose differently. Fuck you! Echo, baby, get this shit over with, please. Oh my god. Baby, no! God. He's actually giving some fucking forethought. Oh my god. Wow. I refuse to lose like this. Especially to the first Pokemon. Wow. Thank you. Oh, I would I would nice. Still it's taking a toll on us. Alucard, I just need you to stay in there to just to get some experience. You're not actually hiding. I hope that fucker doesn't attack us. Okay, cool, we get the first turn. Go, Penny. Watch, watch Penny get shocked. I'll be paralyzed. I think 
test one knows Thunder Shock too. So should be able to handle himself just a little bit. Hold on. Check moves. They do. I'm just gonna spam Thunder Shock. I'm not even gonna try to confuse him. There you go. There's that resolve. Again. Do it again. Come on. Come on, Tesla. Focus. Nice. Fuck, wait, no. About. Okay, I'm gonna switch in Echo so, so that she can get some, uh, just some, some big flying. Um, she can't evolve. Out of desperation, we people sometimes do a can of fight back. Okay, we're gonna. Yeah, Echo's our best bet in, in dealing with this fucking Bailey. Like, without a doubt. And... Ch Magical. Oh my god. Confused, right? Damn. Confused, right? We need to get... We just need to get something. Baby, please. Fine, he's wing attack. I, I guess that's what you're telling me. No attack. Wow. Please use confuse, right? I forgot that fucking synthesis. They can, only get, they can only use it four more times though, so it's whatever. Please search yourself. Thank you. Wow, so of course you did. I'll use it three more times. Okay, um, I think we, we've already, oh my god, we've always had it. We've always had a fucking paralysis here, I just didn't think to use it. God. Oh, you ooh. I swear to God, I'm like <laughs> Again, do it again. Oh, Damn. That was so cool too. I think that's it though. I think this might they may be able to do it one more time. That's it. It's downhill from here. Make it flash. Damn fucking right. Thank you, Bessie. Thank you. Of course you using it.
get a crit. Don't you get that I'm going easy on you. Bitch, you're sweating. So are you. Damn. You got me. <laughs> I don't want to risk that fucking magical leap plus overgrow. Or is it overgrow? Either way. Over. Damn. Straight. Hey, she fucking leveled up. Fighting with another weakling ever again. It's just too much playing around. <gasps> My baby. She's evolving. I have to. I have to get the right thing. Hold on. She's she's a girl. She's a girl. She has. Oh, I guess there's really. Hold on. There's a male and a female crowbat. I think this is the save image. Yep, go back. And get it. So time to shine. I'll keep my finger away. My baby, she's so big. Look at her. So cute. Ah, whatever. You'd never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. You're mad. My baby Goro, look at her. Look at her. Okay, they still have inner focus, that's really good. Mm. I just want to look at her. pursuit. Oh, we'll see you guys. We'll see you right here. 
Wow, critical hit. This is not our day, huh? This Raticate said fuck us in particular. I heard that we beat up its cousin and said, how dare you? Jared is the little kid, how dare you? Picking on him like that. Hate your rat, bitch. He's more of a fox? Also, you're a rat. I know this fucking human dude just like fucking, I'm a rat. How dare you? First time we actually fucking talk to each other and we get fucking interrupted by a balloon. The one time it lands on one of my Pokemon and it doesn't work. Very bold choice for them to make a water type with a high attack stat, but it kind of sucks when there's not a lot of water types that you know do physical attack, like like do physical damage. Okay, yeah, Thunder Wave is very good. We can use that when we have to find that out. What do you call it? Magma. Shit. My mind is blanking. Sprite just looks so silly, just sitting there.
Fuck it. Get that shit. It was fucking okay. <laughs> like he was looking through the fucking smoke and he saw that tail flame and just went for it. That's a good puppy. Good puppy too. Fork. Oh my god, I could have just avoided all that plot bullshit. Actually, no, I couldn't. I wanted to get down there. Okay, Penny. Use one attack. Because everybody else is kind of busted up right now. Skewer that fucking balloon. I guess popping would have been more appropriate. I guess that's why the fucking you didn't crit. Respectful. That's probably what I would have said. What a case. Okay, we're gonna use escape rope because I'm not fucking around with this. Get in through it, Tesla. I know, Penny. I know. I'm gonna get you the Pokemon Center. No. There we go. Oh, okay. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon. They are. They were beaten. And called names. I, I didn't think that thing was going to use pursuit like that. That was... You okay? I scratched them on the head. I pet them on the head, not scratch. Damn, that's... <laughs> not a good word. I'm thirsty. There you are. 
Time to do some plot. Ah, oh, shit. That's the wrong button. You, you all can just go while I care. To have a legendary Pokemon on my team is cheap. Did you see that? Suicune raced by like a blur, right in front of my eyes. I have been, ch I have been chasing Suicune for almost 10 years, but I've never been this close. I'm all choked up. By the way, it was clear to me that Suicune took notice of your presence. Every takes a legendary Pokemon are said to, ha to have come to people only when they recognize the talents. Perhaps I should be more aggressive towards Suicune. Anyway, Blue, we will meet again. I hope not. Shit, where, where are you? So we have a half chance of encountering. Half of... You know. I should not have Like, out of ten encounters, one of those counters, like, a half a chance, you know. That's how that works. Shit. If a balloon hurts my boy, hurts my child. Hell fucking yeah. Oh, they tried to poison me, but it didn't work. I should really have Tesla up in front, just in case we do encounter the Magmar. Into the Pokeball you go. Critical Role in my Google once, and whenever I do watch Critical Role, that becomes, like, the only thing that I watch. Like, within a week, I'm, like, watching fucking five episodes in a row, and if you know how long those things are, it's like, like, you're lucky. Like, you are so lucky to have a three-hour, um, episode be so jam-packed, so full of content. But, like, no. It's like fucking five whole hours because, you know, it's a D&D &D session. That's like the average of, of, of how they go. But like, when it's like a really good episode, you just want more. But then it just... There's no more show. <laughs> and it sucks. It's like, shit! Why'd you do that to me? What did I do? But like... It really is like a binge for me. Like I really am binging this content. And I have to figure out like specifically 
when I left off, because I think, because I'm on like campaign, like the second campaign, and I, I remember watching where they did like a live show, like at a con, like definitively, I was after that. And I think I finished the arc where they were a, a, attacked by bandits, and I won't get into that. Like, well, you'll you'll know if you ever really watch the show, because they get they get attacked by bandits a lot of times. Because that's just how that's the common uh, encounter. Getting rarely attacked by bandits. But, uh, yeah. you'll know what I'm talking about if, if you, uh, if you really watch the show. You don't want to spoil anything. Now, if you ever really want to watch Critical Role, you don't have to watch them in any order. You, even if they were to start a third campaign next year or whatever, you don't have to watch any of them in order. But, like, if you want to understand, like, the references that they're making, which I don't understand, because they do reference uh, the first campaign, and, uh, I didn't really fall in love with it. Because it was... The tone of the first campaign is, like, it's a, it's a lot more serious. It's all higher stakes or something like I, I have no else no, no better way to say it but like yeah the first campaign to me felt a lot more serious but like the second campaign is far more committed because they understand the game more so it's easier to play for them and sure some of them switch around different classes and then like there's a whole you know growth period where they're like the question like, can I do this or can I do that which is always fun Always fun to see them like actually, you know, try to figure it out. So just like having the DM you know, members or figure it out for them. It's always so fun. I love that. I love that. But uh, yeah, the second campaign is way more comedic, way more fun to watch, in my opinion. I really fell in love with the second campaign because of the memes. Now I'm like invested in these characters. I can't wait to see from where I left off, of what they're up to. We're gonna heal up Tesla. Now, I tend to do this thing where I, I zone out. I won't lie, I zone out uh, watching it sometimes, but specifically when they're doing combat because I'm not seeing anything. Because, like, there's so many moving parts when, like, a combat situation is happening. But when they're talking, that's when they're best. That's when they're fucking mess. Because, you know, it's, it's the characters. It's just them. I tend to, like, I like the beginning and the end of, uh, of combat situations. But the middle kind of just does not do it for me. Really it just sucks because as much as I love a lot of shows and a lot of just a lot of a, a lot of stuff. Really, mainly maintaining, you know, pretending to, uh, you know, nerd stuff. I can never truly talk about this stuff because, one, people that are around me aren't watching things that I'm watching. And then, two, if I were to go online and talk about this within, like, a Discord or an Amino or something like that, I just know. For sure, it would be toxic. Like, without a doubt. You, you can't fool me. Because um, every single fandom, no matter 
who you go to. Be it fucking my hero, or Naruto, or Dragon Ball, or fucking, I don't know, fucking the Bluey fandom. I just know it'll be toxic. I know it will. Because that's just how fandoms are. It's unfortunate, it's sad, but that's just how it is. I think we've had 10 encounters already, or this is like the ninth one. And now that I'm like actually thinking about the show, like all of the character, everything, like all the characters, the story, it's all flooding back to me. Like all my ideas of like where this show's going, and and like Mad Mercer gives them so many paths to take that it feels so weird when they just like completely do something different and just wipe any possibility of going one way. It's great. But it's like, wait, what the fuck? No, go back. Like, what the fuck? They just bullshitted their way out of that. That's garbage. Go back, please. Wait, you have to, you have to, like, do a weird temporal bullshit god thing and just make them do something else, please. But you have to go back. They just took care of that entire temple, but there's still so much of the temple left. Wait. <laughs> it is so weird that, like, how they'll just be somewhere, fuck shit up, and then just leave. Like, fuck, man. Because, yeah, this campaign is way more chaotic. They're not evil. Like, they're not doing a <laughs> weird, weird evil campaign. But, like, they're just so chaotic to the point where it's just... Why not... They are so destructive. They do things that are a nuisance to others, which is just your standard adventuring party. Oh my god, where's this Magmar? Am I even looking in the right place? I have to, right? I'm gonna have to just, uh, what's it called? I'm just gonna have to start running. Oh my god, how are you flinching? Don't get mad at him, he's scared. I'm just kinda getting mad. By the power of Critical Role, I, imp I implore you to give me the greater odds in meeting a Magmar. A Magmar whose flames were so righteous they will burn anyone in my path that I see fit. Please and thank you. I'm a humble viewer. Well, I guess... I didn't pay my dues. Run. Damn, that was our first runaway. I kinda hate it. But it's good to be able to watch. this fucking magmar. The fuck? Woo! <laughs> like, I stepped on its toes, and he said, bitch. He's 
turned into a fucking fire punch. Okay. I'm sorry, but like, your fate is sealed. You're ours. You're our friend now. Or cool. You're my friend now. <laughs> We're gonna get soft tacos later. Cat funky, sweet baby boy. Gimme, there you are. I know, baby, I know you're hurting. I know you are, but it's fine. You're, you're, you're gonna be okay. The pain's over now. Okay, um... Okay. Uh, Thunder Wave. I don't care. I accept that. I just can't believe it missed. Like... <sighs> okay, who to bring in? Okay. Go Echo. It's good that they know fan attack. That's really good. Okay. I'm gonna save the state again. Because I'm a pussy. And I'm going to... I'm, I'm gonna be fucking funny. I'm gonna throw a fastball. Because I'm funny. No, you're... You know what? Fuck you. You're going the fastball. You're going the fucking ball. You're going the fucking ball. Because I say so. And you're also confused. Man. Damn right, hurt yourself. I'm going to save a state because I am fearful. I am afraid. As I should. No. You're going in that ball. It's just a matter of time. It's not impossible that you'll get stuck in there, but. Possible if you keep it. Eventually, eventually. This counts as a different. It, does it not? Does it not count as a different thing? Ah, oh, shit. Did it, do we see if we trap ourselves? It, does it not really matter what Pokemon. What Pokemon we use? Oh, God. Fuck! No! Please don't hurt yourself. Please. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Um, we fucked ourselves. We fucked ourselves. In the fastball, please. Ooh, bestie. I don't know what you're doing, but. That is your home. It, it is I, Izuka Midoriya. A and I'm sorry to say, but that fastball, that is your new home. <laughs> Without a doubt, I promise you, you will be in that ball. Stay the fuck in there. 
You bastard. You ain't shit. <laughs> this is your home. I promise you. Stay in there. I'm gonna have that ass beat. Stay paralyzed. I swear, if you don't fucking stay in this ball, I'm gonna cry. I feel numb. I feel so numb right now. Okay, I accept this. This is your fate. I am Shoto Todoroki and I'm here to say that being in a fastball is pretty okay. Okay. I am blinking so hard right now. So frequently. Are you telling me you're a fucking Shoda fan? You love Todoroki? Uh, what the fuck was that? Uh, sorry, um... Izuku Midoriya here again. What the fuck was that? You hate... You, like... Like, I know that Todoroki's... It's pretty handsome and whatever, but like... He... He didn't even fucking finish his sentence. All you heard was... Oh, wow. Uh, hello. Um, I'm Shoto Todoroki, and... Being in a fastball is pretty great. Like, like, wh wh uh, 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 what the fuck was that? Are you high? Are you high off your fucking smoke screen? How dare you? Pussy ass motherfucker, how dare you? Magmar, the Spitfire Pokemon. The fiery surface of its body gives off a wavering, rippling glare that is similar to the sun. It's okay, Midoriya. Some bitches look just like me more. Okay, I'm gonna name this Pokemon... Shoto. This Todoroki is a last name. Also, Endeavor shares the name Todoroki. So I will not using that one because Endeavor can eat dirt okay that is definitely going on fucking TikTok that is for sure this specific moment I think that was like four minutes long that's definitely going on fucking uh What's it called? TikTok shit. I'm, I'm blinking. I'm, my head is pounding so fucking hard. Loop, browse, that bar. There he is. Water type, poison flying type, a bug fighting type, and a normal that will be a dark type, electric steel, and a fire type. We're pretty balanced. And you're gonna be keeping the ice fang. <gasps> oh my god, I can pet his tummy. But y'all can't see that, I think. Y'all can only perceive the screen. You can't really see my cursor right now. But anyway, we have a new member to the team. Welcome, welcome Shoto. 
you were you were a bitch and a half to get, but here you are. <laughs> I just wanted the music to to end right there. We're using another fucking escape rope. I have no I, I, I have no more to give. I have no more to give. What you got, old car? Can I see? Thank you. Wait, hold on. What? I want to see something. What? What, what are you at? Yeah, no, we're not gonna try to level you up right now. Uh, yeah. At least there's some extra steps. I feel emotionally... Not not emotionally drained, but mentally drained because I wanted... Hold on, holy shit, hold on. We we didn't even fucking look at his, his stats at all. Hold on. What you got to offer, Shona? Oh, 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 you bold. You a ooh. Okay, let's see what that does. Bold. You have a high defense, but a low attack. Okay. I just wish it was the other way around. But we can't get what we want, can we? I am a little disappointed, but. Okay, you, you, you have flame body. You got flame body. So that's a good, good thing to have. It's always nice to put some fucking status effects inherently. Please bring back my boy. My they them. Hey Tesla. Alrighty then. There you are, bud. How you doing? Here we are. In the future. Oh, you're level 19. Nice. We've got a lot of growth to do. We have a lot of stuff we need to take care of for tomorrow. Uh, Alucard, you need to get up. Like, you gotta work hard. Some By the time you're like level 16, on par with like a uh, Shoto over here, you'll you'll have to be able to carry your own weight. So you're gonna be used. You're, you're gonna be fucking on on the front lines a lot of the time. So and you three, my oldest in my eyes, Puppy Junior, Echo, and like my, my big girl, Penny. You need to get to at least level 25, at least. 
that? I think 30. We're going for a whole team of 25. And that's what we're going to do tomorrow. But we'll now save. Put this whole day behind us because it has fucked us over a plenty. And I'm not very... I'm not very willing to do the whole the whole thing of grinding right now. We're gonna have to grind a lot next next go around, so say goodnight to these babies. Look at them. Look at them all on the screen. Let's appreciate right now. Let's appreciate that. We're gonna pause this. We're gonna actually we saved. You know what? I'm going to play it again, and then we're going to save again, just in case. 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 There we go. Look at them. Two of them evolved. All in one stream. We got three badges now. Look at them sparkling. I really love my team. I I was really trying it, <laughs> but we'll but we'll get more into that in a in a bit. We have to do the proper channels. We have to do the right thing by going to. Not that screen, but this one. All right. This is Blue Tie Dye 777 sending off some final thoughts. <sighs> so, <sighs> my starter Pokemon evolved, which is always nice. And then my, my second Pokemon ever catching in this game. Uh, well, not ever, you know, you know what I mean. Our second Pokemon of this run. My baby girl. Look at her. She my echo. Can we just talk about how I just had one of my Pokemon just paralyzed and they still be that gym? Granted, they needed like a couple heals and an ether, but you know. It fucking counts. It counts. And I love that for her. I love that of her. She really did it. I, I really appreciate. I love how I was just so dedicated in getting that one Magmore in particular. Just. Just wow. So. Catch me again tomorrow at 12 this time. I kind of. Turned a little bit later than I was supposed to, but. I will be streaming again tomorrow because actually I'm streaming every day this week up until Friday. Friday's going to be the last day for a while. So I will lose a lot of traction in my growth as a streamer, but it's what needs to be done because I have a lot of family stuff that needs to be taken care of. So I'm, I don't, I, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with y'all, I really don't want to, I don't want to leave, I really don't, because there's a big part of me that doesn't even want to help them in general, but I kind of have to because it's the right thing, I know it is, but I just don't want to do it anyway, but yeah. Uh, follow my socials. If y'all really want to see me grow, if you if you really want to keep up to date with me, I'll still be active, very much so, on TikTok and on Twitter. You'll see the highlight I was talking about. It'll it'll be up there. It'll be already up on there. I promise y'all that. I, I will look for the video. For that specific however many minute long it has to be at least five minutes long 
and I'll find that I'll take care of it I will do what I need to to have that up there so y'all got something to watch on TikTok if y'all you know even go there but I do implore you to do so because it it would be it would very much so make my goal in trying to be like a full-time streamer possible because right now I'm very small but I'm very proud of the growth that I've you know made ever since starting in late February so that's always very much so appreciated and uh yeah follow my twitter and my tiktok by the same name as this twitch channel at b-l-u-t-y-d-y-e underscore seven 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 and honestly hold on <gasps> hold on where's that fucking i need to add here we go at source I should have did this a while ago, but I didn't. Okay, um, hold on. Transform and center on vertical. That is not what I want. I guess on horizontal. I, I just don't understand that. go there we go it's something so that so that you'll know of of where to follow i should really i should i should should really make its own banner but you know yeah b-l-u-t-y-d-y-e underscore seven 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 that's the tiktok and twitter and subscribe to my youtube channels i know i haven't really posted anything very recently on my main channel I, I'm falling behind, but I, knowing that there's somebody who's going to subscribe, it's really going to push me to make more content. There's already two videos up there, and I'm just proud of myself that it that I even did that. <laughs> so, yeah. So with all that in mind, this was Blue Tie Dye 777. Sending off some final thoughts. Bye.